What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on the stereo in the 52. If you caught my last video, I went over some of the things that I've done to the truck. If you didn't, I will post a link up above here. But like I said, today we're working on the stereo. I, um, I've got a retro sound radio in it that looks like the factory radio. And um, also have some kick panels with some Hertz energy speakers in it. I've got a couple speakers behind here in the factory location. Those speakers are all ran off an Alpine amp that I have mounted under the seat. Also have two subwoofers hooked up off of a kicker amp. They're kicker um, solo barracks, the old solo barrack classics. I just like the sound of those couple eight inch speakers. Well, my amplifier has went bad for the subs. So we're going to rewire the amplifier itself and we're also going to replace the amplifier. So, uh, well, let's get this seat out and get started. Once we get the seat out, you can see this is my kind of amp rack that I had made. So uh, my upholstery guy, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, same guy, I had a board cut out at a cabinet shop and measured it all out, drilled the holes, and then I took it down to him to have it covered in just black carpet. And this is my amp rack of sorts. So this is the amp that's bad and we're gonna be taking out. The other thing is when I originally hooked this up, this amp is not fused within the amp. So the only fuse is in the battery, which I'll show you here in just a second because we have to unhook it. Um, I'm gonna add a fuse panel here so it doesn't have to travel so far to trip that breaker. I think that's probably what my issue was. Uh, this amp is fused internally or on the side, so I really don't have to worry about that. I am gonna add a fuse here for it as well. So let's get this stuff taken apart. I'm gonna start by unhooking the battery and uh, kind of show you in these old trucks, the battery is in a tray underneath. So over here, the battery is just this little tray that spins and opens up. You can see how dirty it is down there, but we need to unhook the positive side of the battery. Once I get the power unplugged, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the connections out of this amplifier. Um, I think this is stupid that they have these little um, Allen keys to undo that. But anyway, um, we're gonna pull those out and then obviously take the mounting screws out, get this amplifier out of the way. Now the awesome thing about this is I actually have three of these amps from prior stereo systems. So I'm actually putting the exact same amp in in the exact same spot. So I'm not having to redrill any holes or run any different wires on this. So we're gonna mount this amp back and then we're gonna get into what we're gonna do here in the center. Now that we got the amp in place, we're gonna move on to the distribution block. Now, like I said, uh, I think this needs to be fused since that I'm pretty sure was my issue before. So we're gonna put a fuse distribution block in. Now I could not find a Y, or sorry, a T like this. So I'm gonna be putting a Y in. So hopefully I have enough wire to reach, but I think I probably will. Well, I have the new fusible uh, piece distribution block mounted, but my wires aren't long enough. So I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but I did go ahead and take the bolts out on the front side and I'm gonna just be able to lift it up and replace um, the power cable with just a little bit of a longer cable. This one's just not quite long enough to get to the front side. And I was afraid that would happen since the last one was a T, but I've got some extra wire. Gonna undo these uh, on both sides and then put a longer piece of wire in. Now that we've got the new longer wire ran, I really don't like the way it comes out, but this is already pre-drilled. Um, if I were gonna do it again, obviously I would put my holes here, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop some fuses in. And before I bolt everything back in, obviously we're going to test it. So we're gonna pop these fuses in and we're going to hook the battery back up and turn it on and see if it works. So after all that swapping out, it was actually the ground for the amplifier. So I put the new amplifier in, it was doing the exact same thing, tested all my connections, which I probably should have done first. Uh, it wasn't getting a good ground. So uh, replaced the ground wire, grounded it in a different position and um, I did still need to add this, so this wasn't a complete loss because I did need to put a fuse at least here closer than the one that's on the battery. So now we're gonna drop the seat back in and uh, I'll try to give you guys a sound test, but it's not gonna come through very good on the GoPro, but we'll try. Well, the seat's all in, guys. Everything is working like it should. I'm gonna try to give you guys a sample. Like I said, though, it doesn't generally come in too great on the GoPro. You're not gonna be able to hear or get the real feel of the sound in the truck. But uh, anyway, let's see or hear what it sounds like. Mm. 
So it's really hard to tell, like I said, in this truck. It's really tinny. You can hear when I'm talking, just the, the vibration, the echo in this truck. And uh, it takes a lot of sound to fill it up. So that's why I wanted a decent sound system in this truck. So if you like this video, guys, please smash that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, go down and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon, that way you're notified every time we drop a new video. And really the reason I wanted to do this today is we're going to try to go on a rod run with some other people tomorrow, and I want to take you guys with me. So check out the next video on this truck because I'm going to hopefully be able to show you uh, just some driving around with some other hot rods. And uh, well, stay tuned.